Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video lecture today, we are going to discuss the notion of types of fuzzy relation. To understand types of fuzzy relation, you must understand the definition of fuzzy relation as well. So we had a lecture on fuzzy relation that is available on our YouTube channel. You must go and watch it first. So to understand types of fuzzy relations, first we recall types of relations, and we recall types of relation. in another view here idea here i write the definitions of types of relation symmetric reflexive symmetric and transitive and here we wrote these definitions in another view so first first we will transform the definitions of reflexivity symmetry and transitivity in terms of membership function first we'll understand this then we'll go to the definition of reflexive fuzzy relation symmetric fuzzy relation and transitive fuzzy relations so suppose we have a relation r on a set a then this relation is said to be reflexive if and only if for every a belonging to a a a belonging to r that is each element of set a must relate it to itself now what does this mean if a a belongs to relation r it means the membership value of a a in r is 1 the membership value of a a in r is 1 so we translate this statement into this one a relation r on a set a is said to be reflexive if and only if for all a belonging to a membership value of a a is 1 in r now this is exactly the replica of this definition here a a belongs to r and here we say the membership value of a a is 1 in r so both of these have same meaning we just transform the definition in terms of membership function now a relation r on a set a is symmetric if and only if for every two elements a b belongs to a whenever a b belongs to r implies that b a belongs to r so when this statement holds true the relation is known as symmetric so this ab belongs to r mean membership value of ab in r is 1 and ba belongs to r mean membership value of ba in r is 1 so we translate this statement in terms of membership function and we write like this a relation r on a set a is symmetric if and only if for ab belongs to a whenever the membership value of ab is 1 in r then the membership value of ba is also 1 in r so we translate this definition in terms of membership function now we have the transitivity a relation r on a set a is said to be transitive if and only if for all a b c belonging to a whenever a b belongs to r and b c belongs to r then a c belongs to r so if this statement holds true then the relation is transitive now what do we mean by ab belongs to r the membership value of ab in r is 1 the membership value of bc in r is 1 so if the membership value of this pair in this pair is 1 then the membership value of ac must also be 1 so we translate this definition in terms of membership function like this a relation is transitive if and only if for all abc belongs to a whenever a mu of ab is equal to 1 and mu of bc is equal to 1 in r then mu of ac is also equal to 1 so first we translate the definition of reflexivity symmetry and transitivity in terms of membership function like this now we are going to the concept of types of fuzzy relations so we already have the definitions that i just explained here types of relations so we define types of fuzzy relations and we compare them a fuzzy relation r on a set a is said to be so a fuzzy relation on a set a is said to be reflexive if and only if for all a belonging to a mu of a a is equal to 1 so if we look at this condition this is exactly same as in crisp relation so these are same uh, for a fuzzy relation to be a to be reflexive it means For, for each element a belonging to set a the pair a a must be in the fuzzy relation and this relation has the highest membership value which is 1 similarly 
a fuzzy relation R is said to be symmetric if and only if for all A B belonging to A. Whenever membership value of A B is K, where K is some value from 0 1, 0, 1 interval, the value of K lies in 0 1 interval, then the membership value of B A is also K. It means A B and B A have same membership value. Now this K, what we had, what we had in crisp relation. In crisp relation, we have membership value of A B is one, membership value of B is one. But in fuzzy relation, this condition is relaxed. And instead of writing one here, we just wrote K here. This K lies between zero and one. This K might be one. This K might be zero point five. This K might be zero point three. This k might have any value from 0, 1 interval, but the, 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 the membership value of a, b and b, a must be same. So, if we compare these two conditions, this is the generalization, this is the relaxed condition than this one. If we place k is equal to 1 here, if we place k is equal to 1 here, then this condition becomes this one. So, we can say the definition of symmetry in fuzzy relation is generalization of the definition of symmetric in crisp relation. Now we move to the transitivity. A fuzzy relation R on a set A is transitive if and only if for all A, B, C belonging to A, for every three elements belonging to A, membership value of A, C must be greater or equal to the maximum of minimum of membership value of A, B, comma membership value of B, C. Now we have we might have many uh, pairs in a relation like A, B and B, C. So, we will find the minimum of membership value of A, B and B, C. We will write the membership value of A, B. Then we will have the membership value of B, C and we will find their minimum. Now, if we have many pairs like this, so we might have 2 to 3 minimum or 4 minimum or 5 minimum or finite minimum values. In that case, we will get the maximum value and the membership of A, C must be greater or equal to that maximum value. And this is exactly the same condition like we have in crisp relation. Here, what is the membership value of A, B and B, C? 1, 1. What is the minimum of these two? The minimum of this one and this one is 1. And what is the value of A, C? That is 1. So, this one is greater or equal to this one. It means this condition is generalization of this condition, but this one is a relaxed condition. This one is a relaxed condition. So, we have shown that the definitions of reflexivity, symmetry and transitivity in fuzzy relation is the generalization of reflexivity, symmetry and transitivity in, in crisp relation. Each definition that we define here generalizes each definition that we had here. And here, there is another point. A fuzzy relation R on a set A is said to be fuzzy equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Just like we have equivalence relation in crisp set theory, in a similar have equivalence relation in fuzzy set theory. So, a fuzzy relation R is said to be equivalence, fuzzy equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Now, we have an example uh, and this example covers the topic of fuzzy equivalence relation. It means the relation, the fuzzy relation given in this example is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So, consider a non-empty set A is equal to A, B, C, D. Let R be a relation on A defined as defined by this table. So, we have a relation R on the elements of set A and these are the membership values of all pairs. So, we have to check whether it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. First, we will check reflexivity. What do we mean by reflexivity? For all A belonging to A, mu of A, A is equal to 1. So, what is mu of A, A? 1. What is mu of B, B? 1. What is mu of C, C? 1. And what is the membership value of D, D? 1. So, mu of A, A is equal to 1 for all A belonging to A. It means the given relation, the given relation is reflexive. Now, symmetric. Symmetry means 
mu of a b is equal to k then mu of b a is equal to k mu of a b is equal to 0.8 what is mu of b a 0.8 mu of a c is 0.7 what is mu of c a 0.7 in this in similar way you can check for all well for all a b belonging to a whenever mu of a b is equal to k then mu of b is equal to k so this relation satisfies the condition for symmetry so this relation is symmetric as well now the last condition is left which is transitivity and what do you mean by transitivity that the maximum of minimum of each pair is greater is less or equal to mu of ac so to satisfy this condition we will we will observe this table very closely first we will uh, select two elements here a and c so we have four elements in set a from a to d so we select here a and d two elements that is mu of ad what is mu of ad membership value of ad membership ad of ad is 1 now we will satisfy this condition so we'll place here a and the last element as d and find the combinations where this element must be same how many combinations we have the first combination is ab and bd the second combination is ac and cd these are the two combinations here we have a variation on b we have the variation on the this second element b so we have the variation here on b and on c and the last elements a and d these must be fixed so what is their minimum the membership value of ab is 0.8 the membership value of bd 0.8 what is their minimum their minimum is 0.8 the membership value of ac ac is 0.7 the membership value of cd cd is 0.7 what is their minimum again 0.7 so their minimum is 0.8 their minimum is 0.7 now what is the maximum of these two first we'll calculate the minimum of all such pairs so we computed the minimum 0.8 the minimum 0.7 what is the maximum between these two 0.8 so the membership value of ad 1 which is greater than 0.8 the membership value of ad is greater than the membership value of this so the left hand side the value at the left the membership value at the left hand side is greater or equal to the membership value at the right hand side so this satisfies the condition of transitivity similarly if you vary if you check for all cases if you check for every possibility this table this relation satisfies the condition for transitivity as well so this is a relation which is symmetric reflexive and transitive and this relation is known as fuzzy equivalence relation so this with this example we conclude our today's lecture in which we have studied the concept of types of fuzzy relation which is reflexive symmetric and transitive then we establish the definition of fuzzy equivalence relation and we have studied an example on fuzzy equivalence relation we have also established the comparison between types of fuzzy relation and types of crisp relation